In this video I'm going over a core skill for SketchUp. Whenever you want to fabricate something, um, you most probably will want to print to scale one way or another. Uh, be it just for a plan or be it to create cutouts or something like that. So in um, this video we're going to go over printing and especially printing to scale. Okay, so this is a standard SketchUp view of an object in perspective right here. So if I wanted to actually print this, I'm going to go to File and then Print. And instead of clicking Print, I'm going to cl uh, click Print Preview because it's the same dialog, but we get a, um, a view of how the printout will look like. So let's try that out. OK, so I want the current view right here. I selected my printer. And what you always should do is always double check that your printer properties are correct. So in this case here, yeah, I'm going to work with my uh, letter paper in landscape orientation. But of course, if you have a plotter, you would make this much bigger and pick the proper paper right there. Then current view is selected. You could print scenes, but the downside with scenes is it just prints them as they are without any kind of respect for for a scale. So it's much better to do them individually because then you can set scales. Now here fit to page was selected but even if I unselect it, you see here that there is no way to work with scale right here and the simple fact with that is that we're in perspective view. In perspective view you cannot print to scale. It doesn't, just doesn't make sense because no, there's nothing, not one line um, it has the same length as the other once you look at them in perspective. So I'm going to close this out and in our case here, this is actually not what I want to print. I want to print the outlines of those stairs just like discussed in the book. So let's go to top view right here. This is now where I have them arranged side by side. I basically copy pasted them and laid them out just the way I wanted them. Now in order to be able to print this to scale, you have to make sure that two things are, or at least one thing is uh, set, which is basically under the camera menu that you're in parallel projection. If you're in perspective, you can kind of see here's my perspective view, which will not let me print to scale, but parallel projection does let me print to scale. And this actually works even in perspective view or an angled view of whatever you want to call it. So parallel projection is the one thing that you want to set at this point. And then in my case here, I just want to get the outlines printed to scale. So the top view is the most appropriate one. And then of course what I did is I went to view animation at scene and I packaged all of that in this top view tab right here. There you go. Another thing that you want to do is you kind of want to keep in mind what the aspect ratio of your paper is. If it's landscape orientation, you want to align your objects approximately in a landscape orientation because you know you can only size up and size down uh, when you're printing. You actually can't rotate. So what I do is I arrange them properly. I make sure that I am zoomed in as much as I need to be. And you know, of course there's different ways you can do that. Right here. Okay, so now I'm pretty good. Um, and now I can print this view. So I'm going to go back to File. And again, you would print of course, but it might actually be always a good idea to always do a print preview first anyways. So I'm going to hit Print Preview right here. Again, here's my printer, everything's set up, letter in my case. I'm going to just do a small print. Landscape orientation, that's all good. Current view is all good. And now what you see here is now you can actually work with the um, scale. Could of course do a fit to a page kind of thing, but what that does of course is it gives you a crooked scale and that's not what you want usually. So. What you can adjust is, once you uncheck this one here, you can adjust what the printout scale would be in SketchUp. So if you wanted to do something like one inch in the printout is equal to one foot in SketchUp, 
but you can change all of the units right here of course then then this is what you would do now keep an eye on this number down here you'll see here that bumped up to two which means that it's too large for one sheet of paper so I'm not gonna do that because it doesn't print with any kind of marks or something so that you can align those. So I kind of want to have it all on one sheet of paper. I'd rather use a larger sheet if I if I have a larger scale. So if I switch this to two of course then it'll fit because now it just says one down here. Alright. You would pick a scale um, any which way uh, you, you know makes sense for you of course and I'm going to explain in another video how you can do this a little more comfortable in layout where you can actually print uh, pick the proper scales that, that you used from from drawings basically okay so this is what we want we want to have the printer set up we want to have the um, the current view set up we zoomed in, we made sure everything looks just the way we want. We don't want to do fit to page because we want to use a scale and now we entered the scale right here and double checked that the size will work. I would always do the high accuracy unless you know unless you want draft version. In any case, I'm gonna click on OK. And there is my printout as a preview in this case, and of course now I could hit print and send it to the printer and get it printed to scale. So that's how that process works. If you need to break things up, you know, rather print individual pieces and that, you know, because of scale and size and paper size issues, you might have to do that, but the process is exactly the same. So always make sure parallel projection is on and you get your views all set up properly. Another thing that I did here was I went to styles and picked a hidden line style so that all I get is outlines. Um, that often makes sense because that's what you want. You don't really need textures for, for these, but, but you can use any style for any of those printouts, of course.